Hi, this is Andy Wallace from Z Inspector, and today we're going to talk about a new feature that allows you to take all of your property management inspection data and export that directly into an ex a Excel template that you've designed. So, in the Z Inspector timeline, anytime you're going to see a little yellow clipboard icon here that means you've done a complete property management inspection and all that data has been uploaded to Z Inspector so in this example here I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and you first see all of the photos associated with that inspection and then when I hit edit view report I'm gonna see the complete property management inspection with all of the comments and photos now one common thing here you've got all these different things here you've marked as um, satisfactory or damage you've got different things to do now we certainly have a, a, a Z inspector task manager where you can you can kick that data to do various things with it but you can also now export all of this data into Excel and so we've got a new button right here it says PM report XLX so if you just tap on that button it's going to download an Excel file and it's going to fill in all of the data from that Excel template. Now, a very common use for this is you can use this for security deposit returns, and that's the kind of default template. So what this does is kind of it's going to pre-populate this template from data from the inspection, whether it was the move out date or the the address location. Um, typically, it's going to also fill in the property manager name as well, and any tenants that you that you filled in at uh, their names during the inspection. And then you can have all these custom calculations. So we provided this here for you for reference. You can make this sheet whatever you want. But what the key thing is here is it's taken anything that was marked damage in that inspection and automatically put that in here. And so now you could simply go in here and you could enter in, let's say, tenant charges for, for cleaning. Or um, let's say there was something else here um, like for instance painting so let's say the cost to do this was five hundred dollars for painting but you only wanted to assign fifty percent of that to the tenant and what it does is going to automatically total these up and put here in the tenant damages now you can then use this um, get rid of these kind of other kind of placeholders and you could um, put in here so what was the actual let's say security deposit on file and um, if there was any other things like prepaid rent, utilities, charges, and it's going to got your tenant damages down here, and this is how much is due to your tenant. So this is a very easy sheet, but what is really powerful is it takes all that data from the property management inspection. Here is everything, all of your data. So anything that you typed in, all the different areas, the different condition values, um, and you can use this for whatever you want. If you want to design your own custom templates around this, you could simply add other worksheets to this. And it also downloads the damages separately into its own worksheet, just the damage values. Okay. And then also on the parameters page, it downloads kind of key things um, about the inspection. Over time, we will be downloading more stuff over here as well. So the three kind of... Uh, uh, proprietary ones or ones that you can't change are damages, data, and parameters. Those get downloaded from Z Inspector, but you can add in any other worksheets that you want. So let me show you how to make some changes to this. Now, by default, we've got this kind of row of text here, kind of this uh, disclaimer text, and maybe I want to put my the name of my um, company here. So, Great Property Manager. Okay, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to um, highlight highlight that okay so I'm gonna do this and I could do anything I want in here I could type in various text I could do formula changes however I want to do this now I'm gonna go ahead and just um, and get rid of these values because those are kind of typed in values and we don't want those to show up on my template okay for default and I'm gonna choose to make these all default to a hundred okay so I'm gonna now save this actually as a new template okay so I'm gonna save this and I'll just put this on my desktop and say new template and for now at least we only are accepting XLSX files so that that a particular type of Excel workbook. Um, this works fine in, we've tested in various versions of Excel, including 2010, 11, 13, both Mac and Excel. We've also tested it on um, 
uh, Google Spreadsheets and it most likely will work with other spreadsheet programs as well. Okay, so now I've got this new template and so let's say I want to customize that more for my business so I can go back into Z Inspector and I go to settings. Okay, and I'm going to go to admin settings, report settings, and here upload. And so here now I can upload my own template. Okay, so now that template is on my account. Okay, and I'm going to go back into my inspection. And now when I click on this and hit PM report, it's going to use my own custom design template. And you can see here it downloaded all that data again, but it used my kind of uh, customization. So you can do a lot with this feature. You could use this for due diligence or any other things that you want to, you, that you might typically use Excel for. And you can just grab all that inspection data and put it uh, right into this. We'd love to hear how you might use this feature or if you have any suggestions for improvements, please give us uh, a call or send us an email at support at zinspector.com. We look forward to helping you out. Take care.